How's it going, everybody? FW Universe and Gennady 97 here. It is Wrestling Figure Observer Podcast, December 6th, 2017. A lot of news to get into today. We got a new series, Hall of Champions. We saw some new older made fan packs, new WrestleMania playset kind of deal, some new Elite in Boxes. So, Gennady, what's going on? Yeah, you know, um, lots of new images here today. Um, some pretty cool things. Some are a little bit uh, disappointing. But, yeah, pretty busy day. Yeah, so I'm, we're going to go to every topic one by one. Starting off here, we have new Battle Pack series. Something called Hall of Champions. No idea what's going on. What What is it exactly? Yeah, so the thing about those is that they will be uh, exclusive to Target. Uh, pretty similar to the, uh, you know, uh, Hall of Fame wave that they have still going on. Um, this is obviously called Hall of Champions to play off that. Um, these are going to be coming with accessories. So it's it's kind of like the Battle Pack did be... Uh, did look last year to a degree I mean it's a little bit different the packaging is different but basically it's like moments like the Dean Ambrose the Miss uh, from their inter intercontinental championship feud uh, comes with a bunch of re-release accessories you have the um, Ambrose Asylum screen you got the intercontinental championship uh, then you got the uh, Dave Batista and uh, John Cena pack from Over the Limit, 2010, I believe it was. Um, you know, uh, it's not the greatest figures, but it's an interesting concept. I really like the uh, box art that they did here. So, yeah, I heard there also are going to be elites, but uh, we'll probably know more. Um, in a few weeks of that so there will probably be other lines uh, other than the battle packs as well yeah I'm telling you I, I'm seeing these images here and it's kind of resembling the the battle packs from back in the day it kind of seems so rare these days that we even get accessories but it's even looks like elite accessories it's like it's the shiny intercontinental the first time we're getting a Miz style microphone, which is pretty nice, but the figures are practically useless. Yeah, you know, um, it's probably something that will appeal more to the kids. I don't know what the price point is going to be yet, so uh, I might ask on that. We'll uh, update you guys uh, in the future if we know, but yeah. That's pretty much all I know about those. Uh, look all right, but nothing overall too exciting, in my opinion. Here, ultimate fan packs. Yeah, you know those are always more like re-releases. We got uh, the AJ Styles that we did get before in the uh, Basic seventy six wave. Um, obviously got the uh, thing here for the kids. Um. I don't really know if these do sell that well, but I would assume they do, at least to an extent, because otherwise they wouldn't keep on doing them. Um, Enzo More is the one from the battle pack that we had before uh, with Big Cass, so it's really nothing too exciting overall. Uh, just something uh, for the kids, I would say. Um, yeah, pretty much it. I tell you why, I'm looking at the boards here, and it looks like even the grown-ups are kind of interested in it, because if you if you think about it, like, the gloves for AJ are kind of cool, kind of hard to find, depending on where you're located, but I don't know, even the chain thing for Enzo is nice, but then again, what do you have to do with the figures? Yeah, I mean, they, they sell those gloves on WWE Shop. I don't think this are, like, the exact same ones. Probably are more cheaper material here that they use. Um, I think these go for, like, about 20 bucks. So an action figure and gloves or whatever uh, might be a sweet uh, Christmas present for a lot of kids out there. 
uh, for me as a collector, I don't really know. I don't really need those. But yeah, definitely something uh, that will appeal to other people, I would say. We saw a new WrestleMania build a playset. And I would say you give me your thoughts here before I blow up some steam here. Because I can't imagine someone would want that. Yeah, so pretty much I think what the thing here is that this is going to be another item that will appeal more to the kids. I think the idea here is uh, that um, they always have that sign on TV, uh, the WrestleMania sign that they point to. So they're going to make a playset out of it. I'm not too sure if it's a great idea. I don't really know if there's a market for that. But I think it's a try for them. They really never did anything like similar to that before. I, I do remember they did a, a Rumbler's Tower in 2010 that kind of looked similar to that. But, you know, just another item in the line. Comes with a Brock Lesnar figure. Uh, obviously, Brock is probably going to be in the main event against Roman Reigns. If plan plans haven't changed. So, yeah. I don't know, Brock figures always do well uh, because just how popular he is. But yeah, we will need to see how, how sales on those are. Obviously, I think collectors aren't too happy about it. So yeah, we just got to see. I just want to touch a little bit on the description here. There's a product description. I, I don't know if I'm going to read all of it, but it's kind of ridiculous how they describe it. They're going like, get on the WWE road to WrestleMania and be part of the big event with this build-up place at exclusive figure that connects to any WWE ring. Blah, blah, blah. Has a scaffolding anchored to, this, to the top or connected to the ring. You can launch the figure included from the ring to break down the 12-inch structure and shatter the WrestleMania sign! Exclamation mark. It's an exciting way. To enhance ring play and build your WrestleMania environment, let the WrestleMania total mayhem begin! Exclamation mark. Include structure, breakaway sign, inclusive figures, blah blah blah. That's it. I I I can't I can't even go on this. I mean, I I left a comment. I was going like, I honestly don't understand what this is for. What in the world is this supposed to be? How it connects to the ring? How are you supposed to launch figures into it? How is this even supposed to recreate the action of WWE? How much of this is actually realistic or not? Yeah, <laughs> because to be honest here, like, I, I was wondering when I could get another basic Brock with the same head scan in the previous tire for the 50th time. This is the whole thing is just preposterous. Yeah, you know... What you got to understand is that it's a kid's playset. Mattel ca caters a lot to the kids. Actually, their main market are kids. So it's not really us collectors that are talking about it online. Now, obviously, it is really nothing too realistic. I mean, uh, I have never seen someone go through the um, sign on television. But, yeah, they always like to do breakable stuff in play sets and we but just let me correct you on this you're supposed to launch them through the ring into the sign i mean it, it, don't you think that even if it's supposed to aim for kids of kind of insulting their intelligence because when i was a kid i used i was still used to play kind of sort of realistically yeah you know i, I don't really know we just gotta see like maybe let us know in the comments if that's something that you enjoy but yeah it definitely is not realistic but you gotta admit that that some kids really just play with the figures and do out of this world stuff maybe it's something fun for them i mean to to the mainstream collector's audience it obviously isn't so yeah, it's nothing that interests me, obviously, but we'll just have to accept Mattel doing stuff like that because, obviously, they cater to the kids. We saw new images for Elite Series 56. 
We saw some pictures in box, a few loose pictures. What do you think about the set? Uh, I think the uh, Anderson and Gallows are fantastic figures, honestly. Um, we got a another AJ Styles, uh, same issue as always on the AJs. Uh, but uh, accepting that, the figure is really good. It is the blue attire as well. Obviously, we had a basic, uh, you know, before that. Uh, we have Jack Gallagher, which is a really good looking figure. Uh, obviously, cruiserweights don't have too much time on TV, are not too important. So, uh, it will probably do alright, I don't think will probably be a figure that we'll see on Amazon for cheap in the future. Uh, we got Roman Reigns, obviously. Uh, the huge issue here on Reigns is that he doesn't come with his chest tattoo. Um, otherwise, I actually think the figure is pretty good. Comes with this new head skin that I think looks awesome. It's the, the fast lane attire. And that's actually the only time... He wore this attire on television, uh, Vince didn't really like it and didn't want him to wear it again, but yeah, <laughs> also in the set we got uh, Samoa Joe, and yeah, it was the obvious move here that they do the uh, green and black because they have done all the other colors, so yeah, it was just obvious, Lo looks pretty good, comes with a new t-shirt. Uh, yeah, I think overall this is like a really, really good elite set. I might be nitpicking here, but if you look closely in the AJ Styles vest, like one side is raised against the other. Uh, just sort so of the things just piss me off. But regardless, that looks incredible. Oh, the entire set just looked great to me. I'm not going to get all of them. But I tell you what, the pictures really did some well here. Yeah, definitely. Great set. I didn't even notice that on AJ. Uh, but yeah, you can get them all right now on walkaway.com. They are in stock. So discount code Elite will save you 16% at checkout and you'll get free shipping as well. So uh, check that out as well. Also to note here that you have to be quick when placing your orders. That's one thing people complain about online, about about prices getting up. That only happens due to due to quantity. So seriously, if you guys want the figures, just get them as soon as possible. That's the best prices you can get. Yes, yes. Uh, obviously, uh, the pre-orders are always cheaper now that they are in stock. Uh, the prices go up. Now, the thing about that is that I think um, AJ Styles, Carl Anderson, and Luke Gallows, they are not going to be available before Christmas anywhere else. So Walk Away is pretty much your only chance to get them before Christmas. So uh, I think before they go up more in price or sell out, you definitely uh, should get your hands on them now uh, if you don't want to miss out. Yeah, like you said, fantastic figures. I wish Carl would have a jacket too. But if you're a fan, if you're a subscriber to Ginetta's channel, you know how to get a jacket for him too. Hint, hint. That's just about it. Do you have anything else you want to add? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we also wanted to talk about the uh, new Becky Lynch. Oh, right. Right, my bad here. We have new images for the new Walgreens exclusive Becky Lynch Elite. Comes with the SmackDown Women's Championship debuting for the first time in the line. Kind of a ridiculous, not as, I'm not as just, I'm not quite sold on the face scan. That's the thing I was aiming to say. Other than that, pretty good. Your thoughts? Yeah, so uh, the Becky Lynch is going to be a Walgreens exclusive following the uh, Sasha Banks that came with the Raw Women's Championship. Uh, the Becky Lynch is going to have the uh, SmackDown Live uh, Women's Championship. Uh, I think they're going to continue that. They're going to have a another, I think it was Lita, was it? Am I right? 
coming next? No, actually, the one following up, Becky Lynch, is our glorious intercontinental champion, Maurice. Oh, yeah, right, right. I, I, I thought we saw something else at Ringside Fest, but... Uh, yeah, Maurice also coming with the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, but Becky Lynch, I see a lot of complaints about the head scan. And granted, it, it, it doesn't really look all that great. It's still acceptable for me. Uh, they really never did a great Becky Lynch head scan. So... Uh, the first basic wasn't too awesome. I think the Elite wasn't that great either. Um, I wouldn't say it's worse than any of the two previous ones. But yeah, it's a more up-to-date Becky Lynch attire, you obviously. And yeah, that should be in your local Wal Walgreens uh, pretty soon. Yeah, I heard they're supposed to hit him in this year. But one thing to note about the Becky is, like, look how how they go the extra mile with her. Like, the first basic had these flappy things in the back. The second had these had this weird... The, the, always say weird because I don't know how to call it. Kind of, like, belt thing. And this has a new belt, too, on her waist. Kind of Irish, steampunk kind of thing. But I only said before about the face scan because the hair piece is kind of nice. I wonder what you can do with this if you, if you know how to swap these things. That could be great. Yeah. If I just wish the belts could be even tighter in the bodies. Yeah, you know that that's like nitpicking, but I'm sure you can swap the hair piece onto another Becky Lynch head scan, maybe that you do prefer. But, uh, yeah, I think the figure is not all that bad, like I said. And, yeah, probably will be in, in your local Walgreens even by the end of the year. So, uh, make sure to keep checking. Yeah, you know you know me. It's just my job to nitpick here. Kind of make things interesting. But I'm, I'm, I'm pretty picky when it comes to my figures. I only want Mattel to do their best job. If you like it, that's awesome. I definitely think you should get it. I, for me, like my ideology is, if you like something, you should go over and beyond to, to get your hands on it. Yeah, definitely. So wrap this up. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We covered all that we wanted to get into. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching. Hearing, listening, however you approach this podcast, we'll talk to you again after a while.